Uh, okay, Shadow One, more praise to you, how about some your shy? Double honor to the pastors at Great Millstone. Uh, you how about some your shy about Sean Rakar Kadash? Um, uh, this is a quick video, uh, just on a quick topic of um, what the scripture is going to speak for itself. Uh, I'll just go straight into it. It's a quick hit. Uh, Job 3 and 11. Why died I not from the womb? Because you can make this topic into a big topic, but I'm just as a quick hit at the moment. Job 3 and 11. Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? Why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breast that I should suck? And the prophets, a lot of them wish for death because of the torments and the hell that they that you know basically we're born into hell this when you know this is a fucked up realm just to cut a long story short you know so when you read a lot of the scriptures a lot of the prophets which death which that you know i'd rather just be wicked if you will you know <sighs> pardon me for now should i have lain still and been quiet i should have slept then had i been at rest and this is talking about what happens when you die. He said, look, why didn't I just die from the womb? Then I would have been at what? Rest? Rest, you know? You're not burning in hell. <sighs> or all this other bullshit. He says, with kings and councillors of the earth, which built desolate places for themselves, or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver. So you got wicked and kings and righteous kings if you will they all went to the same place they all went to the spirit world man and that's where all the spirits are when they die you know whether it be all of these heathens even you know jakes you know they go to the spirit realm you know uh or as in hidden untimely birth i had not been as infants which never saw light there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary be at rest. Where in the spirit world, you know, anybody that dies, that's where you go. Excuse me. Um, there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary be at rest. So when you die, man, even the wicked, you know, they go, they got a, the judgment plays out on the earth. That's why the Lord's gonna judge this earth with the people on it, with what, with destructions, judgments, you're talking about how and the, what about the Lord's going to bring World War Three on this planet? You're telling me that's not a judgment, mate. Getting fucking nuked. They're the wicked seeds from troubling. So they're not sort of wicked in the spirit realm. are not being wicked. Everybody's righteous up there, if you will. Because you ain't going to... It's, it's not the earth. It's a different setup. There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. There the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. That happens when you come on the earth. When you're in the earth, you're in hell. You're getting whipped by you, by these devils. And that's what that is. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Wherefore is light given to him that is in misery, and life unto the bitter in soul. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, and that was just a quick hit. So the scriptures, and you got these Christians bugging out on, on, on what, what's going on in life. What happens when you die? Well, it's right in the scriptures. And, and like I said, I could have made this a big topic. This is one of them hard-hitting scriptures that get straight to the point. And there's many scriptures like this. So, you know, if you're teaching anything otherwise. We you don't know the Bible. And if you don't know pre-incarnations and the scriptures, you, don't, you damn sure don't know the scriptures. Okay. Excuse me. So, like I said, there's this could be made into like you could go into this topic for a while. There's a lot of scriptures, so this just proves that the, the, the Christians, if they're gonna go into the scripture, people that are calling themselves Christians, which you're not really anointed, you're not really the followers of the Messiah, but you don't, you won't really know how to break this down. You're just gonna butcher what's been read, you know, because you're off. So, with that, I'm gonna say shalom.